weather and climate. We now know that weather refers to the atmospheric condition of a particular place and at a particular time. Weather may change from day to day and has an influence on our daily activities. Climate, on the other hand, refers to typical weather conditions of a place over a long period of time. The hilly regions of North India are cold while the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu are warm and humid. The Thar Desert is hot and dry. This is what we refer to as climate of these regions. Factors influencing climate of a place Its distance from the equator Latitudes Its distance from the sea Humidity Its height above sea level Altitude Wind let us learn more about these factors. Distance from the equator It is a very important factor. The places on the equator and close to it receive direct sun rays and maximum heat. The farther a place is from the equator, the lesser heat it receives from the sun. While the equator and regions near it receive direct rays, sun rays become more and more slanting as we move away from the equator and towards the poles. Heat Zones The earth can be divided into three different zones on the basis of the amount of heat received from the sun. The three different heat zones are the torrid zone, the temperate zone, the frigid zone. Let us learn a little about the position and the climate of these heat zones. Torrid Zone The Torrid Zone, also known as Tropical Zone, lies between the equator and the tropics, that is, between the equator and the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere and the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere. Hemisphere. It extends from 0 degree to 23 and a half degrees in each hemisphere. The temperature in this region is quite high. That is why it is called the torrid zone. The word torrid means intensely hot. The region experiences heavy rainfall, high humidity and temperatures characterizing equatorial type of climate. Temperate Zones The temperate zones receive slanting rays of the sun and are Therefore, neither very hot nor very cold. The North Temperate Zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle and the South Temperate Zone lies 
between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. The climate in these zones is moderate or temperate. Frigid Zones The frigid zones are intensely cold zones on the earth. The word frigid means very cold. The North Frigid Zone lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, while the South Frigid Zone lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Being at the poles, the frigid zones get very little sunlight and warmth of the sun. The ground here is largely frozen most of the time and is known as permafrost, which means permanently frozen ground. Proximity to water bodies The water bodies close to land affect the temperature of the place. During the day, the land gets heated up whereas the water body is comparatively cooler. The cool wind from the sea blows towards the land and cools it. At night, the land loses its heat while the water body remains warm, causing the cool wind from land to blow towards the sea. This circulation of land breeze and sea breeze continues in summer as well as winter. This way, water bodies close to land help to moderate the climate of these places. Altitude or height above sea level The higher a place is above sea level, the cooler is its climate. This happens due to the slanting sun rays it receives and relatively thinner envelope of air. Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa is close to the equator. It has a snow-capped summit while its base has equatorial climate. The height of Mount Kilimanjaro is 5,895 meters above sea level. Direction of winds blowing. Winds that come from over the water bodies bring moisture and thus rain to the land. The winds can be hot, dry or cold depending upon the regions they pass through and thus affect the climate of the area. The cold winds that blow in North India after snowfall in Shimla always drop the temperatures of Delhi and surrounding areas in winter. Amount of moisture or humidity The amount of water vapour in the air is called humidity. Humidity is responsible for formation of clouds, rain and snow. Humid air increases rainfall in the area and dry air makes the climate drier. That is the reason why coastal lands receive more rainfall as compared to inland areas. Thus, we learned about different climates and the factors influencing climates in India.